Thank you for the opportunity to speak at this hearing. I am Dr. Mari Castellanos, C-A-S-T-E-L-L-A-N-O-S, and I am a Christian minister in the United Church of Christ. I come not only as a clergy person, but as a former scientist, a bird watcher, and someone who passionately loves God's blessed creation. I also come on behalf of the many children whom I dearly love. I want them to enjoy nature and all of the created order as I have in all the glory and beauty that God made. In a recent letter to President Obama, nine Nobel Peace laureates wrote, and I quote, the night you were nominated for president, you told the world that under your leadership, the rise of the oceans will begin to slow and the planet will begin to heal. If the president consents to the Keystone Pipeline, he will break not only his promise, but the hearts of millions as well. When I studied moral theology or Christian ethics, we were taught to look at issues through several criteria and different lenses. I can assure you that this issue, as Father just explained so well, it fails at every angle and under every criterion. How can the destruction of the boreal forests, the lungs of North America, for the sake of profit, be ethical? How can we justify pushing all the birds that nest in that forest to extinction, which will surely happen because so many of them are already threatened, or endangering the source of drinking water for millions of people, or endorsing an extraction process that causes high levels of greenhouse gas pollution and leaves behind enormous deposits of toxic waste and is permeated by the stench of corporate greed. This is not moral, this is not ethical, this is not who we are. As a nation, we like to think of ourselves as a high moral ground people. Approving this pipeline will surely question our perception of ourselves. Over this year, 4th of July weekend, a 12-inch ExxonMobil pipeline broke at the bottom of the Yellowstone River, spilling crude that covered more than 10 miles of the famed waterway. What was an oil pipeline doing beneath the Yellowstone River? I frankly, frantically asked and may, found out. Yes, may I, I'm for, unfortunately, uh, our time is at an end. May I ask you to finish up with a sentence? I would like to to say to, there is a, there's a racial divide in this room, and it breaks my heart, because study after study, sponsored by my church, the United Church of Christ, tells you that the waste of all toxic developments usually winds up in African American, Latino, and Native American communities. Don't allow a false sense of gain to divide the people of color on this issue. Thank we always stand to lose. Yeah. Thank you very much. The survival of billions of people is at stake. Also, as much, of, as, much as half of the Earth's species are being wiped out, can be wiped out by the end of the century. There is another reason why the tar sands pipeline is morally inexcusable. It will endanger the indigenous community, threaten one of the largest aquifers in our continent, and imperil the lives of the people that depend on it. Also, it is the poor, the vulnerable, and the voiceless that are, being, that are bearing the brunt of the global climate change that would be greatly intensified by the full-scale tar sands operation. As many as 600 million people could face malnutrition and hunger all over the world. Approving the Keystone XL pipeline 
runs the risk of condemning the poorest of the world to desperate struggle for food and survival. A Franciscan tradition holds up the, sacra the sacredness of all life. God's creation has a profound value and meaning. We human shares with the rest of God's creation not only the common origin, but also destiny. The, jo ju the Judeo-Christian tradition teaches that human family can find true peace, security, only when we live together as brothers and sisters, in integrity, in justice, in harmony with the earth. A debate over the Keystone XL pipeline ought to be informed by the values of love, of solidarity, of special concern for the poor and most vulnerable, the common good of all of God's creation. The Keystone pipeline is being framed as a solution to America's energy needs that would spur job creation. It is a dangerous mirage. The economy exists within the limits Sir, of the natural world. I thought, Father, I mean, <laughs> the time is coming to an end. I would invite you, too, to put your comments yes. to the table. In conclusion, on behalf of the Franciscan Action Network and Interfaith Power and Light, I urge the State Department and President Obama to deny the permit for the tar, for the tar sands pipeline. Prolonging our deadly addiction to dirty fossil fuel will be devastating for life on the planet, for people and economy. This is immoral, and it's not in the national interest of the United States. Thank you. Thank you very much.